Hello, and welcome to Monkeys with Fire. You join me tonight on another Tabletop Tuesday, and this evening we shall be playing the one to four player card drafting game World Shapers from Board and Dice. If you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the latest miniature painting and tabletop gaming videos. Also, don't miss the live Twitch channel weeknights Monday to Thursday from 7 o'clock BST. Click the link below. And now, on with the show. World Shapers is a card drafting game. Players will draft one card per round and place it into their set of four columns corresponding to the elements air, earth, fire and water. Most cards provide creation points that are counted at the end of the game and some have unique effects to help with scoring. Draft cards that combo with what you already have, enhance them with power crystals and win the game. Hello everybody, welcome. How are you all? Hope you're well. I of course must give out a huge shout out to tabletopaudio.com who are the source of all of these amazing ambient backdrops to our gaming sessions. So tonight we're going to have a game of World Shapers and as I explained World Shapers is a tableau building card drafting game. Each player is going to be dealt a number of cards. In a two player game we're going to receive six cards. We're going to take a look at those cards. We're going to take one, play it and pass our hand of cards over to the next player. They, of course, will be doing exactly the same, and they will then pass their hand of cards over to us. We've now got five cards in hand. We then take another card, play it into our tableau, and pass the deck back. And this goes back and forth until there are no cards left. And we will have built up a selection of cards within our tableau. Uh, that's the first round. We repeat this two more times. And that will bring us to the end of the game. Now, on each of these cards, there are different properties, different scoring values. And what we are trying to do is to build up a tableau of cards in front of us that will maximize the amount of points that we can possibly gain. Of course, we can see what our opponent is trying to build. So when we take cards from the deck, we could be purposely taking cards that our opponent needs, hence preventing them from scoring points. So there are two um, adjectives in the descriptions on these cards, which are adjacency and vicinity. If something is adjacent, it means it is next to the card. If there's something is within the vicinity, it means it's on the row of the card. That is important in the actual scoring of any particular card. So we have in front of us the middle point of the tableau. We have earth, wind and fire and water. What happens is water wraps around to earth. If a card was placed for water and the scoring criteria was adjacency, then what is adjacent to water? There is fire and there is earth. Okay, vicinity is the entire row. We will be placing cards and building up rows. So in your turn, as I explained before, each player picks one of the cards from the deck that they have in hand and places it down in front of them on the tableau somewhere. Once you've picked a card, each player reveals their chosen card and can do one of the following. They can either place it into their collection, they can exchange it for a card within the pool, or they can discard it to gain a power crystal. Then, each player can enhance one of their cards with a power crystal once per turn. 
And finally then, each player passes the rest of their cards to the next player. And that is how the sequence will go. So once you own a power crystal, you can place it on the card. And this card now would give you the enhancement of eight points once you've met its scoring criteria. And the final card to bring to your attention is a special effect card. There's only one in the deck. It's called Overload. So if you receive this card, once the cards have been uh, distributed, you must play it immediately, put it by the side of your collection. This card will be minus five points at the end of the game. However, when you're able to spend a crystal, you can spend one and pass this card over to the next player. Okay, so it's a little bit of a, uh, it's a ticking time bomb card, hence the overload. Uh, good evening, Eric Laz. Welcome to the channel. How are you tonight, Eric? Okay, so we're going to deal out these cards. We get six each. All right, those are our decks. We'll put those just there. I'm going to have my cards played out at the top of the table. And Ian, you can have your cards at the bottom. So that is the card that I am going to be keeping. Right then, let's see what you've got. So... You have just here a card that counts as two water symbols. And if you enhance it with a crystal, it's going to count as four. Um, this is a special effect card. It counts as any of the elements. All players play an additional card from the current stack before passing on. This is a fire card. If it's in vicinity with an air symbol, it's worth three points. If it's enhanced, it's worth six. Ah, you've got the overload. Oh, goodness. Okay, so we basically need to play this straight away. You have the overload. Where can we put this? Let's put that just there so we know it's on your side of the board. Uh, place a card on your collection and take one card from the pool. So you do get a choice. So we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, this is an earth card. Vicinity with fire and water symbols will give you five points. You can enhance it up to eight. This is another earth card. Each air symbol provides you with one point. You can enhance so each set of three air symbols will provide you an additional two points. So those are the cards you've got. Let me just tell you what is in the pool of cards. We've got a water card here. The number of power crystals on this card provides, if there's one crystal, it's two points. If there's two crystals, it's seven. If there's three crystals, it's 13. We have another all group symbol card. Each player loses one power crystal from their reserve, not their cards. It's an instant action card. Another water card. If it's in vicinity with air and fire symbols, it's five points. If it's enhanced, it goes up to eight. And finally, a fire card. Each pair of air and water symbols provide two points. So which of the cards within the pool do you want to take as your replacement card? You're going to take the ice flow. That one just there. All right. So that's now part of your deck. So you have equal cards with me. 
Which of the cards do you want to put down in front of you to start off with? Now remember that the card you put down, you're either going to place it into your collection, exchange it for a card from within the pool, or discard it to gain a power crystal. So you want to place down the earth card. The one with the fields. So this one is going to be worth five points when it's in vicinity with fire and water or eight points when it's enhanced. So what we do is we now reveal our cards. That's mine. This is yours. We, you do have now the choice. I am going to play my card and put it down into the section there, which is the air section. Uh, my card is the number of power crystals on this card provides uh, one for two, two for seven, or three for 13. So now what do you want to do with your card? Do you want to put it down into your tableau or do you want to exchange it or do you want to discard it for a power crystal? Play it, okay. So there it goes. We've done our choices. So what happens now is you pass your deck to me and I pass my deck to you. All right, so I will take a look at my cards. Okay, I shall keep that card there. We now go through your deck. This of course was my deck, but this is now your deck. So you've got an air card. Worth three points if it's in vicinity with an earth symbol. You can enhance it up to six. An air symbol, the number of cards adjacent to this card provides one to two is one, three is three, and four is five points. You can enhance it so that four cards will take you up to nine points. Uh, this is exactly the same card except it's in water. So enhanced up to nine. Having the most air symbols will provide six points, but you can enhance it up to ten. Special effect card. Choose a card from the pool and add it to your collection. But you do not initiate the special effect of the card. So those are the cards you've got to choose from. Which would you like? The meteor looking one. So vicinity with earth symbol provides three points. Enhance it up to six. This is an air card. All right, so that's the one you're choosing. Okay, reveal the card. I've taken the water card. This card counts as two water symbols. So I'm going to place mine on the water. You're going to play it. Okay, that would go into there. So because that card is in vicinity of an earth card, it is now worth three points. If you put a crystal on it, it will be worth six points. So we swap decks once more. Okay, that's my deck. That's the card I'm keeping. Over to your deck. Of course, these will be start becoming more and more familiar as they go back and forth. So, Earth card, it's worth... Each, each air symbol provides one point. Water symbol, the number of power crystals on this card uh, will increase up to 13 points. Special effect card. All players play an additional card from the current stack. Fire card. Vicinity with air symbol provides three points. Which would you like? So you are keeping the special effect card. That goes there. So you reveal. 
So it's a special effect. I reveal. I am going to keep my card. So what happens here is I'm actually starting a new row. There is no need to actually complete a row. You can start building up. But of course, the points are determined by vicinity and adjacency. Uh, so you get to play this card. You can play it anywhere on the tableau, if, if, if indeed you want to play the card. And that being the case, it's a special effect. All players would play an additional card from their current stack. You're going to start another air row, okay? So that's going to go there. So because the effect takes place, I will take my deck and choose another card. I'm going to keep that one. Okay, so out of your remaining cards, you've got the Earth, each air symbol provides one point. You've got the Ice Flow, total points 13. You've got the Fire, vicinity with air symbol provides three points. Which would you like to play? The Star, that goes there. I'll play my card, I've played a Water card. So that's going to start a new row just there. I'm going to have to move this, aren't I? Would you like to play your card or discard it or swap it in the pool? Play it. All right. There it goes. So when in vicinity with air symbols, it provides three. You can enhance it up to six. All right. We swap decks. I will choose a card. So, I'm running out of room here now. You have the water card. Up to nine points when enhanced for adjacency. And a special effect card. Choose a card from the pool and add it to your collection. Which would you like? You're going to take the Whirlpool. All right. So that comes out. That goes there. And the Whirlpool goes there. Okay, running out of room. So we saw all the cards. I should play my card. My card was an Earth card. So that should go down there. Okay, so we've got one card left each. Uh, I'm going to discard my card and take a crystal. Um, you have your card, which is the Ice Flow card. What do you want to do with it? You're going to discard it as well? Okay. And that gives you a crystal. So now we've both got crystals, we can now choose to activate these crystals. I am going to place my crystal on that card just there. What do you want to do with your crystal? You want to enhance the earth card. All right. There you go. So we now deal out six more cards. Okay, that is the card that I'm keeping. So you want to use the Tornado. Let me reveal my card first. So I'm playing an Air card. Having the most water symbols provides six points. I'm going to place that just at the top there. You're playing your card, so that is going to be an Air symbol for you. And your effect is you can exchange one of your previous cards for one in the pool. So you want to swap the effect air card for the fire card. All right, so we're going to take this one out. That goes up. And this now swaps into there. That would go there. 
Uh, remind you what the fire card. This fire card, each pair of air and water symbols provides two points. I'm going to choose a card. Uh, which would you like to keep? You mean this one here? Each pair of earth and fire symbols provides two points. Okay. Yep, okay. So that's going to go in there. What did I do? I did a fire card. My fire card will just go in on there. I'm going to keep that one. Over to you. You've got the first earth card is vicinity with water symbol provides free. You can enhance it up to six. You'll take that one. Okay. And would you like to play it, swap it or discard it? You're going to discard it. All right. That's gone. You get yourself a crystal. I am playing this card. So this card counts as two air symbols. Okay, I shall keep that. Which would you like? You want to take the rainbow. And would you like to play this? You want to discard it. All right. So that gets you a crystal. I am going to take my card. It is an earth card. Uh, your total number of air or fire cards will score me lots of points. I shall keep that one. Right, so which card do you want? You're going to take the water. Okay, are you playing it or discarding it? Okay, discarding it. Get a crystal. And play both crystals onto what you've got left. All right. So that would be the air and the fire. Excellent. Oh, I need to play my card. I have a fire card, so that will just go just on in there. So I am going to discard my card for a crystal. Uh, what would you like to do with your final card, the iceberg? You want to play it, okay. So each set of four symbols is worth three points. Which goes on in there. Dealing out the final six cards. That's what I'm going to keep. You're going to take the weird looking plant thing and you're going to discard it. All right. That goes there. And you take a crystal. I am also going to discard my card and take a crystal. I am going to play a crystal. Would you like to play a crystal? Oh, and you're passing the over... Right, so you're play, paying your crystal and you're passing the overload to me. All right. I thought that was going to happen at some point. We'll put my crystal there so it can be seen. That's the card I'm going to take. There you go. What card would you like? There are two earth cards. Each pair of air and water symbols provide you with two points. Or having the most fire symbols will provide you with six. You can enhance it up to ten. Would you like to play this or discard it? You're going to play it. All right. So that goes in on there. I am going to discard my card, get a crystal, and I'm going to play a crystal. I shall take that card. Okay, what do you want to do with the fire card? Play or discard? You want to play it? Okay, that goes just there. My card, discard. I'll take a crystal. I'll put it just in there. Swap the decks. I'll take that one. You're going to take the grass fire one. And what would you like to do? And discard it. Okay. You get a crystal. I will discard my card to get a crystal, which I will play. Would you like to play your crystal? Not now. <laughs> you, you're keeping hold of it. <laughs> All right. We swap the two card, sets of cards over. 
I will keep hold of that card. You'll take the water card and discard it. Get yourself a crystal. I will discard my card to gain a crystal. And let me just double check on this. I'm going to have to move that up because I'm going to put that there. I take that card. You have this card. Each fire symbol provides one point. You're going to swap your card for the nuke card. All right. So you're going to get rid of that. It's going to cost you a crystal. And you're taking the nuke card. So each player loses one power crystal from their reserves, not their card. You put it in your air column. So that's going to go there. Okay. So we each lose a power crystal. So mine's gone, yours is gone. I'm going to discard my card. I'll take a crystal and I'll push <laughs> this right back over to you. <laughs> so that is the end of the game. So what we do now is we start going through the tableau, counting up the requirements and seeing what you scored. So this card here, vicinity with fire and water symbols provides five. Enhanced is up to eight. So yes, there is a fire and water in vicinity. And because it's enhanced, you get eight points. Each pair of air and water symbols provides two points. So, two, four, six. Vicinity with Earth symbol provides three, but it's enhanced to six. So that's worth six points. No points on this one. No points on this one. Over to fire. Vicinity with air. Enhanced is worth six points. Each pair of air and water provides two points. So, two, four, six. Your total number of earth or water symbols. So, what have we got? One, two, three, three, four, five. You're just shy, so you get three points for that. Over to water. Vicinity with air and fire. It's enhanced. Air and fire, that's eight points. Each pair of earth and fire symbols. One, two. Worth four points there. Each set of four symbols, air, earth, fire, and water, is worth three points. So one, two. So that's six points. Let's just add these up, see what we get. So you have 50 points, Ian. I've got 41. You lose five points for the overload card. So you're down to 45. But still, <laughs> you won. <laughs> so congratulations. Very well played. What did you think of the game then? So once you get the gist of it, it's quite clever. Yes, it is indeed, isn't it? You know, the artwork is really nice. It's very, very colourful, which is great. It would play in a much shorter time if we obviously were just sat around the table. Ideal game to play during a lunch break uh, with some colleagues. And so, Eric, what did you think at the end then? Now we've, we've finished it. So you think it's the type of game you would uh, try in a gaming cafe? Yes, yeah. A nice little filler game, I feel. With very, very beautiful, colourful artwork to it. Very refreshing. Especially with the nice, tranquil ambience we've got going on. <laughs>
Okay then, so I think we shall bring this evening's gaming to an end. Uh, thank you so much to Ian for playing with and against me this evening. Congratulations on winning. Uh, I do hope indeed that you enjoyed your game of World Shapers from Board and Dice. Uh, the next Tabletop Tuesday will conveniently be next Tuesday. And uh, we might have a special game to be played, so do join in on that one. But until then, bye-bye for now. <laughs>